Hello boys and girls, welcome. I hope you're all doing well. I'm really excited about this week's art lesson because today we're going to learn about neo pop artist Romero Brito so we can create a piece inspired by the type of work that he does by using a bunch of different lines and shapes and colors and pattern and repetition. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So who is Romero Brito? Romero Brito is an artist that was born in 1963 and he is still alive to this day. He is a self-taught artist born in Brazil and is known for his neo-pop artwork. Neo meaning new and pop art meaning art based on modern everyday objects and popular culture and mass media. Some artists that we're familiar with already include Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and Jim Dine. Brittle combines elements of cubism and pop art and graffiti painting in his artwork using vibrant colors and bold patterns as visual expression of hope and happiness. Later in life, Romero Brittle moved to the United States where pop art was flourishing at the time. And since 1989, Brittle has worked with multiple companies on their logos, such as Disney and Pepsi, and that has helped him and his career just flourish. Okay, so let's go over our learning target and then let's go over our materials. Our learning target for the project is today I will learn about artist Romero Brito so I can create an art piece inspired by neo pop art or new pop art by using lines, shapes, colors, and patterns. Our success criteria is I know I got it when I have created an art piece inspired by Romero Brito and have used lines, shapes, colors, and patterns. Okay, so let's go over the materials that we are going to need for this project. For this project, we are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil, an eraser, crayons or color pencils or markers, whichever ones you have. If you just have crayons, then use crayons. If you just have markers, then use markers, okay? For this particular project, I'm going to use markers since I already use crayons for my Picasso piece. So I'm going to change it up a bit. So I'm going to take a look at some art pieces done by Romero Brito so I can get some inspiration for my piece. For this particular piece, I'm going to create a heart with different lines and shapes and patterns. I know he has other art pieces that he's created out there, but I'm not going to focus on those too much. I want to do this heart here um, and fill it in with a bunch of different lines and shapes and patterns of my choice. Okay? So I'm going to do that. And over here I have 36 brittle patterns that you're more than welcome to use if you run out of ideas. Remember that you can always create your own patterns and designs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is you can either start adding color to your piece and start adding a bunch of different patterns with different colors or you can continue to add patterns with the pencil and then add color afterwards. The only thing that I would suggest is for you to add color and then use the black marker or the black crayon at the very end to outline these bold lines. And the reason I'm saying that is because sometimes I have students that will start off by creating a beautiful piece in a black outline and then when they start adding color to it, like let's say yellow. What ends up happening is that the color starts smudging into the black and it's no longer like a vibrant yellow anymore as you can tell. It's kind of smeared and blended with the black. So if you want a really vibrant, clean color, then I suggest for you to first maybe color with a marker or a crayon, very neatly. And then at the very end, use that black marker to outline your designs and your patterns, okay?
Okay, boys and girls, and there you have it. Your very own piece inspired by neo-pop artist Romero Brittle.